So Peter was kept in prison, but the church was earnestly praying to God for him. The night before Herod was to bring him to trial, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains, and sentries stood guard at the entrance. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared, and a light shone in a cell. He struck Peter on the side and woke him up. Quick, get up, he said, and the chains fell off Peter's wrists. Then the angel of the Lord said to him, Put on your clothes and sandals. And Peter did so. Wrap your cloak around you and follow me. Peter followed him out of the prison, but he had no idea that what the angel was doing was really happening. He thought he was seeing a vision. They passed the first and second guards and came to the iron gate leading to the city. It opened for them by itself and they went through it. When they had walked the length of one street, suddenly the angel left him. <laughs> then Peter came to himself and said, now I know without a doubt that the Lord sent his angel and rescued me from Herod's clutches and from everything the Jewish people were anticipating. When, he's, when this had dawned on him, he went to the house of Mary, the mother of John, also called Mark, where many people had gathered and were praying. What an amazing story. Isn't it incredible how God looks out for his people? how much he cares for them and he never leaves them alone. Sometimes, like Peter in the story, you may not be stuck in prison, but maybe you're going to feel like you're in a very difficult time. Maybe you're going to feel trapped or a bit miserable or like you can't get out. In times like these, and they will come at some point in our lives, at times like these, we can trust God because we know that he cares for us. That doesn't always mean that he'll set us free like he did to Peter, but it does mean that he can work miraculously in our lives. And the work that Jesus does in our lives is not always noticeable. Sometimes, like Peter, we may think we're dreaming or we're in a daze or we may just not really notice what God is doing in our lives. But we know that God is powerful and that God stays with us all the time and never leaves us alone and sometimes it will take time. So you've got to look back on that time that you had a difficult time and you'll see what work God was doing in your life at that time. So like Peter, we can trust God. And the lessons that we learn from these situations can be very different each time. It may be that God wants you to learn how to endure, which means to last and to trust in him nonetheless. Or it may mean that God actually wants to do something miraculous, like setting us free, to teach us that he is powerful. Or there may be any number of other lessons that God wants to teach us. So, next time you're experiencing some difficulty or some hurt or some hardship, remember to trust God, ask him for help, and know that he will always be with you, no matter what happens.